Hey guys, welcome back. Um, maybe I should just keep it in there. What is going on here? What time is it? Oh, here we go. I love these parts. It's a nice little, um, you know, sort of a diversion in gameplay. Oh, did you see that? I almost did not make that. Good old cheating. It's actually really funny watching me do that. You know what? Fu what's fun with this game? I enjoy um, like sometimes you're playing a part and you have to keep you have to keep the steering wheel because I'm using a steering wheel. Um, I might be able to use the Wii remote, but I think. I think you'd want to use the steering wheel. Um, but sometimes you have these little narrow corridors that you both have to angle yourself into that little straight line. And sometimes... That was a good save. Um, and sometimes you have to... And then you have to like keep it very still. Something about forcing you to keep the steering wheel thin. St um, still so that you can get through that part. It's actually really fun. Really fun. So I give this game that. It's got that going for it. It's got like moments like that where um, it asks something of you that you've never been asked of before. Um, and usually it's pretty fair. So that's cool. You know, not might have said this before, but not not every game, not every not everything has to be the best thing ever. You know, you can also enjoy things that are just okay, and that's what this game is. It's just okay. I'm definitely happy to be playing it. Um, Well, for the most part. I remember before, I've done it a bunch of times where I just barely get far enough to land. It's really funny. So do you guys think I'll beat it on this go? I have a good feeling about it. Good. 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 It's always like that with a Let's Play. Always. You're like, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna do it, and then immediately after you don't do it. You do the opposite. Every time. God is like, no. No, it'd be way funnier if you died. So that was a cool part. I had to go around the thing and then land. That was neat. Yeah, like, there was one of those spots I was talking about. It's just fun to, um... Oh, I hate these parts. It feels random if I get over it. So I don't like that either. But there was a cool part. 
That was one of those ones I was talking about. I might be better at the loop-de-loops, to be honest, the ones that are killing me if I wasn't cheating so much, but... And what do you gotta do? Not cheat? I think that's part of what makes this, this playthrough so funny. Um, I just keep doing it and it's so blatant. It's actually really funny. I guess that's bad game design if I can do that. I think it's that easy. They could have done something about that. They could have put some sort of barrier there. Oh, that was my fault. They could have. Didn't have to be like that. That being said, I'll take it. Every time. I gotta get this beat so we can play some more games. wearing really cool headphones right now. Um, these are my editing headphones as well. But I've decided that they weren't too expensive and I want to use them all the time. Because they just, you know, they're hi-fi. They're nice. Um, so they're actually made by Philips. Um, you know, and they maybe they um Maybe they sway a little bit towards one sound or another, but in general, they're very, very good headphones. Um, you know, as good as any sci-fi, sci huh? Um, as good as any hi-fi. Um, so it feels like I'll finish what I'm talking about in a second. Um, it feels like those one spots, you sort of have to just keep moving to keep yourself gripping. Oh, come on. This level's easy, too. What is going on? I'm playing like garbage. So, yeah, those one spots, kind of like these, you just have to keep moving to maintain friction or something. Some crap. Um, Seems a little hypnotizing. Alright, I was talking about something else. It is though. Going over all going all over our, over all these things and such. So you just move a little bit, see, and then you then you stay. You stay on. So I don't think those ones, as long as I can remember that and keep practicing that, I should be able to continue on. Oh boy, that was close. Uh oh. I can't get up. 
I'm falling and I can't get up. That's funny. Um, so the headphones. Yeah. 50 bucks. For a pair of really nice audiophile headphones. Um, they're a little tight. They started out tight. I've worn the crap out of them, though, so they loosened up. Um, anyway, um, they, uh, I, uh, want to get through this level. Um, Yeah, for 50 bucks, um, I will not complain. They're actually really nice. I mean, I paid $50 and got way worse for a pair of headphones. I'm sure there are other pairs by companies that are decent for 50 bucks, but I feel like this one was value for money kind of thing. Um, what are they called? Um, so you guys can look them up. Um, that's the one ca caveat though. They are tight. They start out tight, and over time they, they loosen up. But you will have to deal with that. Um, I think they're called Philips A1 Pro. Let me look. Yes, the um, Philips A1 Dash Pro. They're uh, they're nice, they're nice, they're real nice. It's not even the same. Half the time I want to listen to music, and I'm like, um, I could put it on speakers, which would be relaxing, or I could use my hi-fi headphones. So they're, they're a nice thing to have. You know, great on the switch on the go. That's always really cool. So I would fairly highly recommend them based on everything. Oh, and they have, you know, removable headphone jack. That was one of the things that I I just had to have on my next pair of headphones because every single time you buy a pair of headphones that are wired, what happens? The headphone jack um, craps the bed. And then you have to buy a new pair. So I'm really, I actually really like that the industry is doing that now. Um, that's really smart. Um, so it's got that going for it. They're comfortable, you know, they're not uncomfortable. I mean, they are, but well, they were. But, the, you know, it's soft. I know I can beat this level. I'm sure of it. Oh, I just had to go for it. That was so greedy of me. That's what I get. Snail Captain. Awesome, more fly time. I wonder if there's an in-flight movie. Nope. What is up with this game? You know? Like this, this, this game is so far gone. Um, 
Like, I feel I feel like I hit my head every time. Every time we play this. Or something. I know I can beat this. Uh oh, that's bad. Took too much damage. <laughs> um, he's like, I need a new job. Like, how is this guy traveling that fast? Maybe he's giant. Maybe the snail that we're controlling is actually like 20 feet tall. And Am I going to make it? Barely. Oh, come on. Yeah, I mean, there were clearly some issues they were having in development. Um, like, I think the reason the levels are so long is because we could, because they had to make them long. Otherwise, uh, we wouldn't have gotten much out of it. We would have been done you know, five, ten episodes through. So they, you know, they had to, which can be a good thing sometimes. Um, a lot of old school games have been like that. A lot of new games have been like that, but I would have liked a, I would have liked a longer game instead, you know, definitely. See, I got that part down. We're good on that part. Oh, that was close. No! The game is also deceptive, you know, it makes you, um, there's all this stuff that you can hit, and there's no immediate penalty 
from just hitting a few things. So it all feels like it doesn't matter. But then next thing you know, sometimes I get hit too much and I'm going way too fast all of a sudden because of all the damage. It's cool though. I guess. No! Bastards. So close. Yeah, I mean, this must be a great, must be great fun to watch. So many close calls and so many like um, spots where I'm just the man. And then those. I messed up once. I think I got that part down now. Not easy though. Uh oh. Aww. Um, okay. That's the end of this one. Um, see y'all real soon. Okay, bye.